Hey everyone, uh, I'm Mark Rapkin, leading VR at Reality Labs here at Meta. And I'm so excited to be part of this Artemis rocket launch with you guys. And today I'm here with two groundbreaking pioneers of VR filmmaking. We have Felix Lejeunesse and Paul Raphael from the aptly named Felix and Paul Studios. Uh, and their studio has been uh, on the VR journey with us for such a long time. They're some of the OGs in immersive storytelling, and now they're turning their talents to bringing space exploration to be experienced by audiences like never before. Hi, hi, Felix. Hey, hi, Mark. And hi, Paul. Hey, Mark. Now, before we get into some of the magic uh, y'all have created, I hear that you have made a space-themed horizon world, Space Explorers. Why don't we walk the walk and jump into VR for our audience and continue the discussion there? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you for welcoming me to this world, Space Explorers Agora. Uh, why did you build this? So our initial desire was to create a world where we could have people come and meet and learn from actual astrophysicists, astronauts, astronomers, and other thought leaders from the space industry. And so in this world, there is going to be a series of panels that are going to be about the different topics of space exploration. And that ranges from origins of the universe to the future of human presence in space. I wanted to ask you, like, why, why space? Why, we, why did you choose it? It's one of the toughest and technically hardest <laughs> topics to tackle. What drew you to capturing the magic of space? Well, you know, ever since we began creating VR experiences about a decade ago now, we had this dream of one day being able to leverage the immersive power of VR to make it possible for everyone to go to space and experience what it's like to be an astronaut. A few years later, we started working with NASA and we sent VR cameras to the International Space Station for our project Space Explorers, the ISS experience, where we filmed with 10 astronauts for over two years inside and outside the ISS. And we captured the first ever spacewalk in cinematic VR. Creating this project really confirmed to us that virtual reality and space exploration are really made to go together. And now our focus is to use virtual reality to take audiences to the moon and uh, follow the evolution of the Artemis missions. That's amazing. You mentioned working with NASA first on the ISS project, and now on the Artemis mission to the moon. What is it like working with NASA? You know, one of the most complex and storied organizations. Well, let's just say this. It's a very synergistic process. You know, NASA does mm -hmm. incredible historical things that have, you know, a great impact on humanity, whether we think of Apollo, whether we think of, you know, the robotic exploration of Mars, the James Webb telescope, and now the Artemis program. So in that perspective, it is truly a synergistic and inspiring process for us to work with them. What did you have to do to harness that magic of space review? How are you trying to capture that emotion of what it will be really like to go through the mission? Well, fundamentally, we start from the core concept for everything that we do and that we've ever done in VR is that the camera is the viewer or the viewer is the camera. Mm. And by that, it means that the viewer is not a spectator in the story. The viewer becomes a protagonist of the story. And in this case, a historical event. And so we always treat our storytelling by placing the viewer as a member of the crew, for instance, if they're on board the space station or as a member of the selected crew as part of Orion traveling to the moon. It's really about placing the viewer at the heart of the story, always as a team member, as a protagonist. And that really defines everything we do in regards to space. I think that's amazing. And it's so different. You know, watching the first moon landing that fitters, you're clearly not the protagonist. <laughs> You're clearly an observer. So I cannot wait for so many people to get to experience that in this way, to actually feel that fear, that excitement, that, that, that atavistic longing that so many of us have. I'm just, I'm just so excited for this. I just think it's been so long since humanity has done something of this magnitude. 
and to be able to capture it in such an immersive magical first person way i think it will really unlock a lot of emotions and a lot of creativity and just so much excitement and hope thank you so much for putting your massive talents and experience and just the unique you know skills that you got from the iss space explorers project to bear on this because i think people will be so grateful and humanity will be better for having experienced it in this way thank you paul thank you felix